Hey, welcome back. Today is day four. All right, so we're gonna just kind of speed through what we've already done and we're going to move into a new exercise today called Kapalbhati, which is breath of fire, otherwise known as the skull shining breath. So this is a really great pranayama exercise to get the prana moving in your body, to really wake up your prana. It's very energizing and it's very energizing not only for the body but for the mind and the brain as well. Hence the name Skull Shining Breath. Works a lot on the third eye and the crown chakra areas as well as the lower chakras. So we will begin by tuning in. Let's bring our hands together in front of our heart in Anjali Mudra, sitting up nice and tall. Taking a few deep breaths in and out of your nose. Settling into the present moment. Relaxing the muscles around your eyes. Relaxing your jaw, relaxing your shoulders, becoming heavier in your seat. And we'll chant one om. We're going to begin with Brahma Mudra, just one round. Exhaling everything out. Inhale, look to the left for eight counts. Exhale, center. Exhale, center. Very good. Take a breath to reset. And we'll move right into Ujjayi breathing. We're gonna do three Ujjayi breaths. Just three today. So we're moving really quickly, and if you would like to use the visualization of the cosmic orbit, so inhaling up the back body, exhaling down the front, we will do that. <laughs> Exhale everything out. Inhale up the back body, ujjayi breath, eight counts. Exhale over the front body. Exhale. 
So we'll move into Ujjayi breathing. We're just going to do three rounds and you can use the cosmic orbit visualization if you like. So inhaling the oxygen up the back body, up the spine and over the crown of the head, exhaling down the front body all the way to the feet. Let's begin by exhaling everything out. Inhale, Ujjayi breath. Exhale down the front body. Inhale up. Pulling the oxygen all the way to the crown of your head, really strengthening your aura. Exhale, wash it down over the front body. One more, inhale. Exhale. And release and come to stillness. Let's move into Ujjayi box breathing. We'll do four rounds. Inhale for eight, hold for four, exhale for eight, hold for four. If you want to engage Mula Bandha root lock and Jalandhara Bandha throat lock on the holds, be my guest. Let's begin by exhaling everything out. Inhale for eight. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. This is our last round. Hollow at your belly and hold. And release, just come to stillness. Notice any sensations in the body. Which is the alternate nostril breathing that we did 
yesterday, we'll do just three rounds. So you can bring your index and middle finger into the center of your palm. We're gonna use our ring finger and our thumb to close our nostrils. We start on the left, so we close our right nostril with our right thumb to begin. Exhale everything out and inhale left. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Hold. Exhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Hold. Exhale, right. Exhale, left. And release. Just take a couple deep breaths, noticing the sensations in your body, noticing the prana, the sensations of the prana that you're generating with your breath. Bring your awareness to any sensations in your aura, your energy field, the space that's surrounding your body. Notice if you feel any muscles that are still holding tension. Any tension that's been released, can you tell the difference? to our last exercise for today, a new one called Kapalbhati, the skull shining breath, or the breath of fire. So to do this, we're gonna be pumping our lower abs up and in towards the body, and we are doing that with a rapid exhale out of our nose, and we're not thinking about the inhales. The inhales happen naturally. You can go at your own pace. I like to go a little bit faster. Sometimes I like to start off a little bit slower and build my way up to a faster speed. Just listen to your body today and do what feels right. So we start by exhaling everything out and then we start again with a sharp exhale. So let's begin for round one and go.
more seconds. Three, two, and one. Release, take a few deep breaths, noticing sensation in your body. If you feel any little bit of nausea or dizziness, just slow it down, but try to push through those sensations. But if you feel like you really need to stop, that's okay. You can totally stop, get some water, just take some normal breaths. Just remember that these are super energetic exercises, so it's normal to feel intense sensation at times. And 99% of the time you're gonna be okay. But if you do need to grab some water, just take a break. That's totally cool. <laughs> All right, let's do round two and breathe out. Begin. You're halfway there, keep going. Exhale everything out and we'll begin round three. Keep going. And three, two, one, release. <sighs> Take some cleansing breaths if you need to, sign out of your mouth. Great job. That was really, really good. Let's take a few more breaths here. Find your center. Side to side, just gentle movement. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more. Inhale up, exhale down. Bring your head to center, lift the shoulders up and back, roll them out. And going forwards. Great 
job. Give yourself a big hug. Bring your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra. We'll chant one Om and three Shantis to close. Inhale to Om. Namaste. See you tomorrow for day five.